Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Album War. Today, we're going to look at two pretty spectacular prog releases from 1977. I don't normally pick in the same year. This one just happened to be that way, all right? Both are from top tier prog bands, okay? We usually think of like the big five or the big four. These two are definitely in that, all right? So, we're looking at the contestants today Pink Floyd, Animals. Going against, yes, going for the one. So based on, if you've been to our Facebook page, uh, one of these two is is kind of winning pretty single-handedly over the other. And not surprising. However, I'm going to kind of do a different spin on this. So first of all, I love both of these albums. This one is easily my favorite Pink Floyd album. This is you know, you can talk all you want about Dark Side of the Moon and the Wall and Wish You Were Here and all, and the, all great. Although I'm not a big fan of the Wall. I know I've, I've said that before and probably some of you were like, what? How can you like not like the Wall? I'm not a big fan of the Wall. I find the Wall to be in kind of like an overrated concept album. It's got a handful of great tunes. The rest of it I can do without. But, you know, Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here, top shelf. Great stuff. I like this one better than both of those. I mean... It's just, it's moody. It's kind of spooky and atmospheric. It's got great guitar work and really cool keyboards. And I just, I love the kind of darkness of this album. All right. And it's just, this is like one of the best, like kind of mind trip albums I've ever heard, I think. And when you got, you know, Pigs on the Wing, part one and part two, uh, kind of bookending the whole album, which kind of gets everything going. The Amazing Dogs. How haunting is that tune, right? Uh, pigs, three different ones, right in the middle. Okay, another lengthy, lengthy tune. Uh, and then, of course, the incomparable Sheep. It doesn't get much better than that, right? It's awesome. The ultimate Pink Floyd. On the other hand, all right, this, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated Yes albums. And any album that has Awaken on it, which is one of the greatest Yes epics, let alone prog epics ever written, it's hard to go against an album like this. But it's not just Awaken on here, folks. You've got the title track, which is almost like kind of like a, uh, a hard rock rave up from the band. You know, it's slide guitars. like the, It's like their version of like Southern Rock, so to speak, right? Great tune. The gorgeous Turn of the Century with some absolutely majestic guitar playing from Steve Howe and a great vocal from John Anderson. Parallels. One of my favorite and one of the most underrated prog rockers, very upbeat, a lot of kicking guitar work, driving tune from Yes. That uh, it's it's an underrated gem in their catalog. All right, and then you've got the majestic Wondrous Stories, uh, which is a standout, has a standout vocal from John Anderson, and then the final track is Awaken, which is just epic storytelling, epic musicianship at its very, very best. You know, I, I often, and I know a lot of people do, when you talk about like the epic guest songs, you know, Close to the Edge always comes up. You could pick any tune off of the Topographic Oceans uh, album, but Man Awaken is right up there. If it's not number one, it's number two. Uh, you know, Close to the Edge for me is like, can't beat that, but Man Awaken sits centimeters underneath it, in my opinion. So, you know, and then you've got, uh, you know, if you get the remaster, which this absolutely is, you get some cool bonus tracks here, you know, Montrose theme, uh, Vive, Amazing Grace, you know, all that kind of stuff, but that's not from the original album. Um, so what do I pick? All right. Stupendous Floyd, the best Floyd in my opinion, with Top Shelf Yes, might not be Yes's best album, but it's definitely, in my opinion, I'm going to say top four. It's easily top five, but so good. All right, so some of you are not going to agree with this, right? In my opinion, Yes is always going to beat Pink Floyd. And as great as this is, and trust me, it is, you can, you can argue with me all day about the fact that I'm going to pick this over this, but I am not saying by any means, that this is not a fantastic, classic, legendary album. Because it is. It's the best Pink Floyd album. It's super. I just like this one and listen to this one a little bit more and like it a little bit more. You know, there's just some songs on here that just put this one over the top. 
for me. And like I said, I am always going to vote for a yes over Pink Floyd. That's just the way it is. You know, you have some bands that you like better than others, right? Like I am always, in almost any case, I will always vote for and pick a, a uh, Sabbath or a Purple album, Sabbath or Deep Purple album, over a Led Zeppelin album, even though I adore and love Led Zeppelin. That's just, those bands mean more to me. Their songs mean more to me. So that's, and this is all my opinion, right? So I'm going to pick going for the one over Animals today, but it's so close. It's probably like if we were to like stack them up right here, doing like a, uh, that's, that's kind of where it comes in, right? Maybe even closer, because they're so good. They're so good. We can almost say it's a tie, but I, I like this one a little, little, little bit better. Your mileage may vary. I know there's going to be a lot of you, and judging by the Facebook poll, most people seem to like animals better, love this, but like this better. And I get it. I totally get it. If I was a little bit more of a Pink Floyd fan and, and in favor of yes, I would definitely go with this as well. But for me, the winner today is by a split decision, okay, narrowest of margins, all right, 115 to 114, the scores. Uh, yes is going to go for it today after a hard-fought 12-round championship fight. But you know what? This one did so well, we're going to call for an immediate rematch, all right? So that's kind of the best I can do here today. So anyway, yes, the, these are our – so to today's winner, going for the one – you may pick this one, and that's totally cool, too, because they're both fantastic, uh, and they're separated by the slimmest of margins in my mind. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get one that uh, I feel a little strongly stronger about one way or the other. But this one's really, really close, folks. Really, really close. You, you know, any day of the week, this is an easy winner. But I'm going to go with Yes, just because I'm a much bigger Yes fan than Pink Floyd. But I love this album, and I love Floyd, too. But got to go with this. Your winner. Split decision. Visit us on the web at www.chtranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're on the mighty YouTube often, often, often. Got more of these classic album wars coming up in the days ahead. Make sure, if you have not, go to our Facebook page. Find us on Facebook. Like us and join in on the polls. We're doing these battles every day on Facebook, so everybody gets to vote, give their opinion over there. be interesting to see what wins every day. We've got a cool one going on there today, which probably will be the, uh, you know, will give us uh, our tools for tomorrow's YouTube show. So uh, go on there, check it out, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next edition of Classic Album War. Take care. Bye-bye.